Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. Today we're going to play Sector's Edge. This is a free-to-play, early access game on Steam. Came out a few days ago. Uh, it's a competitive, team-based FPS uh, set in a voxel world, which is kind of what I'm going to showcase here today. I haven't really paid attention to this much, um, but this is uh, this little gun I'm holding. This is my MIDI gun. It's what I use to build things. And so... Um, it can store blueprints. I'll, let, I'll just keep this right here so you can read the wall if you want to. But basically, this thing stores blueprints um, that I've built, these prefab structures in these nine squares. Then I hold down the Z button, brings up this toggle, and I use my mouse to select which one I want. Um, I've cleaned up the ones that I had before because um, I just didn't use them. Um, then I used to have this, my, my set of stairs here. It was three rows. I'm going to try to do a really tall staircase, and uh, that'll use up a lot of blocks. So I removed one of the rows, and now it's only too wide. Um, and so there was this one castle-type structure that I had, which was useful. Um, well, kind of. It was cool. It was fun to build, uh, to put out on the battlefield. And so um, I kind of had it crooked. I had it sideways. So I deleted it, and now I'm rebuilding it here just to kind of show you... Um, how this works in the game. And then I'll build my little battlements here. Let's see, you know, we got to start in the corners, right? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that'll work. Um, coolness? Probably a six or a seven. Uh, practicality? Probably a one or a two, huh? But anyway, yeah, so there's that. And then there was another one I wanted to build, which I've seen people use, and I like it. So it's going to be too thick. Let's see how, we, how do we have to do this? I have to think about it here. It's going to be too thick, so people can't just blow right through it. And then it's going to have this little shelf. Right here. So I'm going to be up on top like this. You know, mm. yeah, I'm not sure how well that'll work, but we're going to give it a shot. I think it's going to be too thick um, because I won't really be able to get it. Whoa, that was a big jump. I won't really be able to get an angle down. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so this one's number four. This one's number uh, three. And so you can see I built these, and now they're part of my toggle. Um, and so I have these available to me all the time. And so what I also, what I noticed, I mean, this might be somewhat, this might be obvious to some people. I've never played a voxel game, but you can just right click and it rotates the structure, which is kind of cool. And then, um, at the end here, so the, the developers have been releasing updates. This is only released two days ago. And they've updated it twice. Um, it was mostly to fix bugs. But frankly, uh, the list is short. And I haven't personally encountered any bugs. We're just going to go in here, go to Aegis Desert. I'm going to plug myself here. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. I release uh, new stuff every day. Um, I'm really into this game right now, so I'm probably going to be releasing a lot of these videos. Um, but in the future, you know, I'll play different stuff. If you want to see me play something specific, um, please let me know in the comments. All right, we're going to be on Aegis, the winning team. I don't even know. Oh, that's right. So I want to be... I'm going to use my Assault class here. 13 out of 15. I'm going to like the Digger tool. Yeah. And let's spawn. And so here are the structures. Oh, that's weird. So these are all the old structures that I had. Like this one. This L shape. I'm surprised to see them come back up. But we're going to do some crazy stuff here. That, that, and then 
Just finish off this little platform right here. And then, uh... So what else can we do here? More stairs. Obviously more stairs. Who doesn't want to be higher? And I've got 170 blocks left. Man, you can really build in this game. Um, and then, so there's a... Oh, oh, okay, I thought I reached the top. There's a, uh... There's a power level. You have 15 points to spend, basically. If you don't max out your power, then you get extra blocks. Um, extra capacity and starting amount. <laughs> okay, that's... No, that's not the cap. Holy cow. That's, um... I'm out of blocks. So let's go pick some up. Don't mind if I do. And then you can see the quantity increasing on my gun. <laughs> and so, to the dismay of my team, I'm not going to be doing much for them. They're doing fine anyway. They don't need me. Okay, so 450 is my cap. See, someone already built stairs right here. <laughs> someone... Oh, shoot. No, no, don't do that. Don't shoot me, dude. Um, that hurt. Big time. All right. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Let's get ready before I get up there. Okay. <laughs> this is silly. <laughs> uh, okay. We will reach the ceiling. This is it. This this looks like it right here. Yeah, I can't build anything else. For, uh, yeah, so... That's it. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> and there, there is a um, there's a damage drop off. I think with the assault rifle, it's like thirty blocks or forty blocks, something like that. <laughs> you know, I'm not doing anything for my team, but this sure is fun. And that's not what this video is about. It's about building stuff to see what I can do, right? He finally saw me. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. All right, he's probably going to go try to get me from a different angle or something. <laughs> How far can grenades go before they blow up? Let's see. Boom, not very, not far enough. That's actually a lot farther than I thought they would, but. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, that's what he was doing. He was shooting out the stairs. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> oh, man. I knew that would happen, though. Um, you know, I like I mentioned at the beginning, I lessened it uh, from three rows wide, three blocks wide to two blocks wide, just to conserve on blocks. So I could build it higher to begin with. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, he's above me. Gotcha. That's all right. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> All right, and let's see what other... My little castle... No, my ledge. I like the ledge. Let's go find this objective over here. We're getting it. 226 to 118. Oh, jeez. That guy's got a sniper rifle. No bueno. He's here somewhere. Where'd he go? There's one guy. stair thing was awesome. Okay, I'm going to approach from <laughs> the way I'm meant to. From my base side. Come in here, and then I'm going to put up... Might need some help here.
that's kind of I've mentioned that a few times in other videos. Um, building stuff is cool, uh, but it's it's pretty situational. Um, like building a structure right there for offense wouldn't have really helped, and there was no position for me to defend there because I was approaching the objective. Oh man, that's not good. Holy cow. So, in that case, we're just going to go... He knifed me. Come on! Give me a break! Oh, well. That's the end of this one. So, this one, this map's called Aegis Desert. I think there are five maps for salvage. Um, we're going to check out a different one, because I kind of wanted to show that off, too. Just the different maps. I don't really care what my score was or anything, or if I get points. Um, yeah, this is a server selection screen. I was reading in the, the update. They added these buttons. They're pretty handy. So you can filter out full servers and empty servers. And this is what I'm left with. Um, earlier today, there were a lot less players. And so I'm guessing as it approaches evening, you know, more part of, more players get on. Today is a Sunday. That's also part of it. Um, but yeah, th this is more people on than I saw when I first started playing so I think on average the server load the players playing is keeping the same or maybe going up um, yeah anyway let's check this out so Aegis Desert we just did Sultrium Salvage or Sultrium Temple Salvage too slow there it is yeah 11 minutes left we'll get into that one let's see if we can get on a team that's objective based and then I can build some defensive structures around there. Uh, yes please. We're about to win. So here's the map. You can see these trees are pretty cool. Um, it's pretty easy to get on top of them and you can snipe like across the map from on top of there. Let's check this out. Yeah, that's alright. I'm not sure if I'm far enough back. Oh, no. Kind of hard to position it on top of your structure. Which, I, I wish they'd make it easier. Maybe I'm not starting in a good spot. I don't know. Take these blocks back. is to build and then you can use the mouse wheel to select uh, the different modes and then also select the structure that you want no this is just difficult to place why <laughs> and that's oh the game's over maybe that's why they're not focused on the objective anyway that's one thing uh, I've noticed it's been pretty common is I don't really like to use the structures and uh, a lot I don't notice a lot of people use them um, regularly because they just take so much time um, and then you just you know you're not shooting and maybe I'm generalizing just based on my personal experience and that's not fair but um yeah I guess full disclosure that's just been my experience didn't really get to see that map very much though Let's see, we're just we're not gonna go through any of this rigmarole at the end. That was Sordium Temple. Thirteen minutes left. Yeah, we'll try it. Alright, so I'm gonna kinda skirt around the outside here, not run for the objective. Just uh, to kinda look at the map. I really like the canopies. I've seen these, the the trunks of the trees. Here, let's just do it. So the whole tree just fell down on me, which is cool. It doesn't do any damage, it looks like, though. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go like this, get back here with the weapon. <laughs> it's fun just to mess around. It's kind of like a swamp area over here. Uh, these are kind of pyramid or uh, temple that's where you sacrifice your virgins or goats whatever you got 
So it looks like, yeah, it's just kind of like, um... Like a holy site? I don't know. I don't know what Incan or Mayan ruins look like exactly, so I, don't, I would hate to insult anyone. But that's kind of what it reminds me of, is just seeing pictures of um, those cultures. Where they lived and what they were able to build. I don't think I went enough to the outside to avoid enemies, so I'm going to go way over here. Maybe that's where they spawn over there, but yeah, it's, um, I like this map. This is kind of like the sniper haven here, because you can really get some long-distance shots. So that's the anti-spawn camping mechanism right there. Return to the battle or else you'll die. Because they spawn right over there. So let's try to like get into some of these underground caverns and stuff. I'm using the the bigger MIDI gun, which is like the digging tool, the voxel construction tool in the game. And it takes out um nine cubes at a time or no 27 cubes at a time but here are the sewers i'm glad i can't smell right now i mean it's you know just it's a battleground but you can tell um you can see what i meant by this sniping haven when you come like through these corridors and it's just there's not much cover, and there's uh, a long field of view. Oh. I see that a lot, but I don't know... I mean, look, it's... That little hole is outlined by something like it's made to be destroyed, and I, I see a lot of times people will destroy them. Maybe it's just the thickness is less, so it's easier? I don't know. Let's go up here. Oh. Well, that's cool. It's a tomb. And it's, it was sealed off until I came along. Are these all tombs? Yeah. Well. They can't have their privacy in the afterlife. Not in this world. Team's winning without me. Okay, so we're gonna go actually to the next objective. I'm kind of done checking out the map. I'm satisfied. I hope you are too. I'm gonna come up here and um, maybe build. Let's see what we got. Stairs? No, I want my little shelf thing. There we go. So you can see the gun. There's a little graphical representation. A little graphical representation um, of the structure that I have stored that is selected. Again, uh, this is Sector's Edge, free to play, early access on Steam, released a few days ago. You are watching Atlas Gaming. I'm not here to pwn noobs, I'm just here to play the game. I'm still a new at this anyway. <laughs> this is like my new favorite thing to do. <laughs> Just tear down the trees. Boom! <laughs> I wonder if they're going to come in from behind me. Kevin Eleven, how do you do? Oh, they're winning now. God, it was just like 224 to 180 something, I thought.
that wasn't a good approach on my part. Yeah, um, this game is great. Um, and it's, it's great as it is and for what it is. And that's, I'm not saying like, oh, this is great for a free-to-play game. I think this is a great game. And then on top of that, it's awesome that it's free-to-play. Surprise guy. Now nah, they got this one 296, 298. And it adds up fast. Oh, and I keep saying how awesome this game is. I'm excited to play it and come back to it. And um, I really enjoy making videos about it. But uh, I have zero affiliation with the developers. I just, I just really think it's a great game. Is gonna kill me. Son of a bitch. I try not to cuss, but sometimes it just slips out. So I can hear them. I know they can hear me walking around down here. And then I think my gun. my gun, like the little builder gun, the mini gun, I think it makes noise too. Ah, I came around behind him. That's one thing I love about this is that no matter uh, how familiar you, familiar you are with a map, it, it doesn't matter because, I mean, I just came up behind those guys and started taking them out. And, um, and that, that's... That's the twist about this game I love that sets it apart from, you know, your average FPS huge blockbuster release is um, just the voxel. It's as simple as that. You can make your own paths. You can get to places, you know, in, in other games you would not supposed to be able to get to. Not the perfect words there, but I think you get the gist. Um, this video, um, I kind of I kind of wanted to make short, just show a few different things. Um, different maps, although I didn't get to as many as I wanted. Um, but I really wanted to show this, the midi gun store, midi gun storage. Um, how you build stuff. The stairs are really cool. And then I wanted to show this, um, just some patch notes. I'm not going to go over them in depth, but, uh, they're here and this is just steam. But um, they're here, and you can see they released two. One was on Halloween, October 31st, and the other one, um, well, I'm not sure what time zone they're in. I don't know what that is, AEST, but um, <laughs> followed by another patch for today, which for to me is tomorrow. But yeah, anyway, um, they're supporting the game. These are all small things. Small fit here. I'll I'll scroll down in an orderly fashion so that you can pause it if you want to. But these I read through. These are all pretty small things, and um, I didn't really encounter any bugs. I'm glad to see that they are uh, balancing weapons um, and fixing functionality about the weapons. But yeah, again, um, this is Sector's Edge. Uh, you've been watching Atlas Gaming. Thank you. Subscribe and like uh, if you want to see more. I put content out every day. Thanks for watching.